Hi, Gemini. Sorry, I had to take a cashew break. Oh, goodness. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that, Gemini. So, in lieu of Valentine's Day, I'm going to be putting all of my readings on sale. And, you know, since it's the holiday of love, and I'm a twin soul reading. Twin? I can't talk. Sorry. I've done too many videos, I think, already. <laughs> so, since I am a twin soul reader, um, I knew that I had to get some videos out for February. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle your cards. Let me clear your energy really quick. Okay. Just did some sound healing. I'm clearing the energy in the room with a bell. We're reading now for Gemini for the month of February. And like I told the other signs, I'm no longer going to be focusing on singles. Since I am a twin soul reader, I'm going to be only focused on those that are in the twin soul journey. As I've been guided to by my guides, I'm going to focus only on those in the twin soul journey. So what does Gemini need to know about their journey? And I'm going to go ahead and lay all your cards out and then interpret them so that I can read the energy as a whole. It's just easier that way. Gemini. Ooh, they put two cards out for you. So for some of you Geminis, you might already have an idea of who your twin soul is. If not, you guys can definitely feel that you have had a past life connection with this person. I feel like for a small portion of you though, some of you already know who your person is or you have a very strong feeling of who you think this person is, okay? Gemini. They might have children or you might have children. So we got the children card here. Two cards for Gemini, please. And it looks like so for the past month or maybe even the beginning of February, things are going to feel very hectic right now for you, Gemini. I feel like there's going to be a lot of things shifting for you if they haven't already. Okay. And the reason for that is because... You're getting ready to hop onto one of your best timelines and in order for all of that wonderful new energy to come in, old stuff has to be shifted away and it's going to feel very chaotic. Um, <clears throat> I feel like a lot of you have already might have already experienced this total upheaval of things in your life. But remember um, that, like I always tell all the signs, it's not happening to you. It's happening for you to level you up, to put you on your greatest energy line so you can experience all of those things that your heart desires. Right. One more card for Gemini, please. Wow. Wow. So yes, I was just talking about things happening in order to bring you onto your greatest timeline. And I got a card about soul contracts and how they've been fulfilled and how you're going through all of these new lessons. Because old things need to be shifted away from your energy in order to make room for the new, okay? For some of you who have been dealing with an, an ex lover, we have like the ex lover card here. Um, Spirit is going to make sure that they can no longer interfere in your energy field. Gemini, please. Because mm, 
feel like some of you might have someone in your past who is very, very unpleasant. Four cards. And they are an ex. And you've had to deal with a lot of drama from them. And so I feel like Spirit is going to make their presence in your life very minimal from now on. Yeah, obviously, like, you guys have children together, yes. Um, you will have to deal with each other on certain times. But I feel like Spirit, for the most part, is going to keep them out of your energy field because they understand that you're happier when this person is not around, if that makes sense. Okay. One more. Wow, we have two cards of energy. We have Nine of Wands, and then we also have Ten of Wands. One more last one for Gemini five of swords so all right I'm gonna go ahead and pull okay these came out like this a roomy card and then we're gonna go ahead and interpret and read all of the energy Wow so I see that when things started shifting for you Gemini it happened very quickly and for some of you it was like a, a swift kick in the stomach you felt very unprepared and even a little bit scared um, and frantic when things started to happen and shift. And it's because this is the first time that you've actually had that lesson of having to sort of deal with everything spiraling out of control and this sort of chaos um, energy that came in like a whirlwind and, you know, you never really had to deal with that much change at once, but you got through it and you have the strength card here, which is, you know, Leo energy. And it shows me that even though you were scared, you didn't think you'd be able to get through it. You did indeed get through it and you came out stronger because of it. And you definitely, definitely leveled up. And it showed you to be grateful for things and to not take anything for granted. Wow, look at that. I was just saying not to take anything for granted and we got from nothing to everything. Oh my gosh, number 16. So I was literally just talking about how being grateful and going from having this energy of chaos to all of a sudden having this energy of like abundance and it's literally says from nothing to everything this is amazing okay so the first card that we have is reconciliation and it says someone from your past is returning to your life now this could be for a small handful of you those of you who already know who your twin soul is this is your confirmation if you feel like you already know who they are then spirit is saying yes that is your confirmation okay for the handful of you that don't really know, the only thing that you'll know when you when you meet this person is you'll feel it in your soul like you guys have known each other from a past life, okay? Then we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. And immediately when I got this card, I felt like it was this energy of this ex-lover. So some of you might be dealing with someone whose energy just feels very negative and very mm, sort of draining. Um, it's, it feels very narcissistic and, um, you know, divine intervention came out right next to the ex lover card. So spirit is definitely shifting things in your favor and no longer will this person be able to drain your energy as they have been doing in the past, because I feel like you're getting really good Gemini as sort of protecting your own energy fields. And because of that spirit is helping you to sort of shift this person almost out of the way so that you can move forward with your true twin soul okay um so like i said if you do have children with this person you know this card came out you will have to deal with this person but i feel like spirit is letting me know right now that the contact with this person is going to be very minimal and spirit is going to make sure that <clears throat> you guys are not dealing with each other in a way that makes you feel taken advantage of, if that makes sense, Gemini. Um, they're intervening on your behalf, okay? And Spirit has done that, by the way, 
a lot for you in this past month past month because I see that they have shifted so many things in your favor and it, it feels really scary um, having to have all these things torn down in your life and sort of built up anew but the strength card here shows me that you done really well with it um there was a period where you really felt very down we got the, the wounded warrior and the ten of wands feeling like you were taking on way way too much and you were gemini you had massive shifts this these past three months and um <clears throat> you literally had to let go look five of swords so you had to cut out all of these things in your life and you weren't making the choice to cut them out. Spirit was cutting them out for you. Just left and right, just snipping things here and there from your job to your relationships, to your friendships, for some of you, your homes, um, and shifting everything, everything around you out of your life. And so you literally had to start from scratch. And that energy of Five of Swords is about... Um, you know, sort of nipping everything in the butt in order to find your new beginning, okay? We have being grateful for all that we have leads our hearts to overflow with abundance. Give thanks for the things that you have and watch your life change. And I feel like when all of these, this shifting started happening, you had to do that, Gemini. You had to focus on on the good things because if you didn't you felt like you were literally gonna go in insane you know you had to say okay well I might not have this but I have this and while I might not be experiencing this I still have this and it was that attitude of gratitude which sort of kept you afloat during this like massive upheaval okay but the thing is those lessons have been learned and this card right here says soul contracts have been fulfilled lessons have been learned and a new beginning in love awaits and it's funny right i didn't even read that section that says a new beginning in love awaits and i already had had mentioned something about in order for all of this to happen in your new beginning in love to start that you had to um, go through all of this period of sort of tower moments back to back to back in order to shift your energy into this new energy of love okay so one second okay so I just wanted to um, look up the five of swords really quick because I kept feeling this energy of like having to start over and sort of things being destroyed in order to create new things and ironically like uh, amazingly i guess i should say instead of ironically the five of swords talks about destruction and chaos and things being destroyed in order to start again so i am on the right track and i don't know why i felt like i needed that validation but i wanted to check and to make sure that i was on the right um that i was reading the right energy and i definitely am so um it's it's almost like when you you know, have to destroy something in order to create something again. It's like, for example, you're a sculptor and you're trying to create this beautiful vase and so you're shaping it with your hands and then you screw up and it, it, it all like, you know, bends into itself and the sculpture is like completely destroyed. You're going to have to build that sculpture again and mold it with your hands in order to restart again in order to make another sculpture right and i'm going to go ahead and look this up the last card which i'm going to leave you with my beautiful gemini's and my beautiful air signs and it is from nothing to everything oh my friend if you are longing to be written on become a blank page have you been shedding your skins, your layers, your certainties? Gone are fixed identities and definite opinions. Keep casting those shackles aside, even if you fear you are releasing too much, and then, perhaps, you shall cease to exist. You shall only cease to exist as you have known yourself to be thus far. 
Another emanation of you awaits, blazing angel, something more beautiful and true. Yet here you are at the pruning stage like a gardener for the soul. Shall the garden spring back to life or will the enthusiastic denuding process be rather too much and unintentionally kill off the garden altogether? Fear not. Your soul is made of hardy stuff. It can handle a lot of calling and will shine even brighter for it. There is a greater story to be impressed upon your essence than the one you are already dreaming up. Though you are brilliant, no doubt about it, my angel of love, there is one who is even more so. The imagination of this great writer is beyond our comprehension. The stories that pour forth from that cosmic poet in every moment are so rich, they inspire the creation of art and music. So see, it's about letting go so that you can be formed into something greater by the hand of the divine. One such story is equally, especially created for you. Yes, you. With a starring role and all the best supporting cast, you shall gasp in wonder, all glee and delight when you hear it. It is a great romance, a great adventure with an ending truly spectacular and divine. Would you wish to hear it? Become attentive now. Put your own tales aside, as dramatic as they may seem, right now, and prepare to be entranced by the greater storyteller, the living poets of love, as you are entranced in a tale of your unfolding divine destiny. And oh my goodness, my camera is going to shut off. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Gemini. If you want to book a reading with me, click in the